السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته عليكم السلام ورحمة الله وب... وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Welcome students to Nurania with Sumayya Today is your test on lesson number 6 and 7 Both of those lessons were on حروف المد The letters of stretch now, as usual, before we do the practical test, I always have questions for you. So, first question, how many letters are there in Arabic? 29. 29. Out of those, how many are heavy? 8. What are they? What are the heavy letters? Remember? You remember you said them together? Group? Hmm. Khusadaghtin qiv and ra. Starting with the kha. Very good. And uh, moving the sounds in Arabic is called what? Moving the sounds of these letters. What is it called in Arabic? Mm. Moving the sounds. Harakat, yes. How many harakat are there in Arabic? <coughs> three. Three. The Arabic vowels are three. What are they? Fatha, <coughs> Fatha, Kasra, and Dhamma. What does Fatha do to the sound? Makes it up. Go up, like? Eh. And what does Kasra do? Make the sound down like e. Dhamma? Makes the sound around like u. Very good. Are harakat long sounds or short? Short. Mm -hmm. How many harakat is how, how How short is it? How short? We say one haraka. How short? One haraka. Okay, one movement. Very good. Now adding noon. Like this. Eh. Yes. Adding noon to the harakat is called what? Tanween. Tanween, yes. Okay. So tanween with the fatha makes what sound? Hmm? Tanween with the fatha makes what sound? Tanween with the fatha. Add noon to the fatha. Tanween with the fatha is? Uh -huh. N. N, for example, right? Then we need the kasra. Then we need the kasra. Mm. And then we need the dhamma. Mm. Yes. Next, uh, we learned uh, something called the letters of mud. Okay, how do we stretch this harakat? Stretching the harakat in Arabic. Uh, it's called what? Uh, stretching the harakat. Med. Yes, med. And what do we use to stretch the harakat? We add what to the harakat in order to stretch them? Med. Yeah, but. Well, well, what uh, so uh, what are what what letters do we use huruf al mad yes what are the huruf al mad what are the huruf al mad a alif was a a is not a letter <laughs> what are huruf al mad alif kasra Kasra is not a letter. What are the three letters that we use? Huruf al mad. The letters of mad to stretch the harakat. We use alif and. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And. Wow. Wow. 
Alif stretches stretches which haraka? Fatah. Yeah, stretches which haraka? Kesra. Uh, wow stretches which haraka? Dhamma. Correct. And this is where we are. Horoful mad. Alright, ready for your test? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. <coughs> so you're going to read with hija or without hija as I instruct you. Are you ready? <coughs> okay. Read for me here. With hija. Loud. Hmm? Read without hija. B ha ru tui ha u di sha du. With hija. Without hija. Tu hi za du. He ja do she I What are you doing? Fa who Z Fa U G Sa Su I With Hija? Rain Fata Elif Ra Ka Ka Dhamma Kaf Kaf Dhamma Wauku Mim Kasra Yami This is Lean Val Fata Ya Dhay Shin Fata Wau Shau Alif Okay, without hija. Ri la nu su so rai so rai bo hai go. Okay. Without hija. Ku li wa do zay bo lay jo ai go without ga mu we do say bo nay how Right, no. Nice job, good job, mashallah. So that is <coughs> with hijab and without hijab, lesson number six and seven. Study well and practice hard and make sure you pass all the tests before you move on to the following lessons. We'll see you in the next lesson. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.